Hello, everybody. It's Thursday at 6 o'clock. That can only mean one thing. You forgot to switch over to the news. Stay where you are. Let's play House of Games, shall we? I've got four famous faces playing all week. One of them at the end of the week is walking away with this trophy. Who is it going to be? It's going to be one of these four. Sean Fletcher, Kimberly Wyatt, Louise Minchin and Chris Washington. Uh, at the moment, it's looking like it might be Chris Washington. Three wins in a row, Chris. What we call the unpopular uh, hat trick, <laughs> um, but all fairly won. Yeah, just you know, I, I, I'm not an intelligent guy. I'll be the first to admit that. I think they've just, they, I've, I've been dealt the cards in a good way. Whatever that saying is, I don't know. See, it. this is dangerous. Little old me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, I buzz in. I say the first thing on my head. But he, he's a good quizzer. <laughs> he's a good quizzer, isn't he, Louise? Mm. Let's Hello. take a look at the weekly leaderboards. Chris, of course, up at the top, but very easily catchable. So we've got two days to go, including double points Friday. Uh, and a good day for you yesterday. I, I, I mean, I'm happy to go home now with that under my belt because no, I, I feel Louise, very nervous you've still. You've got to win a day. Kimberly, yes. could today be your day? Let's hope so. I mean, the bottom, it's a bit lonely at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you're not far off the bottom, to be honest. True. You know, you're, you're so close to a silver medal. It's <laughs> a lovely thing to have. Yeah. Currently, silver medal. Sean, Sean, you seem like one of those players who's happy to sort of coast along in second at the moment. Uh, what are you trying to do? G me up? I mean, so, uh, <laughs> this is like a pep talk before going out onto but the pitch. Of course it's a pep talk. What do we do? What's the extra 10%? Well, well I think we pull the plug on his buzzer. That's the <laughs> interesting. That's, definite. that's interesting. a very good idea. I think that's the I'll only right way. On Let's take a look at the, today's prizes. If you were to get rid of this run of second places, you could have the House of Games onesie, the yoga mat, the alarm clock, the reusable coffee cup, or the fondue set. I did do a bit of yoga with Mrs. Fletcher, and so the yoga mat, we'd fight over it. But I think she would have loved to see me in a dressing gown, and the onesie might be the sort of secondary Next, next best thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, some people say the onesie is better than the dressing gown. Oh. Um, listen, no disrespect, Chris, but uh, look, oh, Chris is going, hold on, what did you say, what? <laughs> now he's fired up. <laughs> <laughs> he's going, I'm not having someone getting a better prize than me, I'm afraid. Should we play Get Chris? Yes. OK, round one today <laughs> is... <laughs> House of Gamers, that's the name House of Games with an extra letter attached and that's what we're doing in this round. We have taken some long-running TV shows and we've added a letter and I'm going to give you a synopsis of this brand new show we've created. So, Sean, this is a synopsis of a bizarre show we've created by taking a TV show and adding one letter. So, a trio of old Yorkshiremen live life with youthful abandon while hanging out with the final pig of the season and it first appeared in 1973. I can picture it. I mean, it's not the sort of thing I'd watch, but I, I actually... It's so famous. You know when it's just there? Yeah, tip yeah. Of the, tip of the tongue. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm going to have to let it go. OK, we'll let it go. Anyone fancy buzzing in? Chris? Well, last of the summer wine. If you buzz in, I need an answer, especially from oh, a right, champion, sorry. I'm, I'm going to say, uh, Pitt. Pitt? Mm. OK. <laughs> OK, now we're going to all work out what this round actually is. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> right, the answer we're looking for is Last of the Summer Swine. Of right. course it is. Uh. OK, so it's Last of the Summer Wine. We've added okay. a letter. Onto oh. the swine. So we've added an S. Oh, so that's right. where the pig right, yeah. comes in. Right. So it's <laughs> Last of the Summer Swine. Yeah, that's a good start to Thursday, isn't hey. it? That was... yeah. uh, but you're gutted. You missed the news now, aren't you? <laughs> but, uh... I would have been better at that. I had half of it. <laughs> Exactly. As, as he's out front, does he lose a point for that? This, no, he oh. certainly doesn't. He certainly, you know, he gains respect for having oh. a gun buzzing in, is what he gets. Uh, Kimberly, so here's a long running TV show. We've okay. added a letter. Okay. Here's the new synopsis. In drama filled Wolford, rival families argue over who is best at fixing and repairing that area of London. In 1985, that show started. So, do you know the show we're referring to? No. If you don't know the wolf a bit, this is, this is going to be impossible. So, shall we throw it over? Shall we time you out? Yeah, time me out. Time you out? I don't know Anyone the else fancy that? Louise. EastEnders with East Menders. East Menders? That's the right answer. Well done. You stick an M in EastEnders, well you get East Menders. Yeah, well played. Really I get it now. I get and it. You I, get I, it now. <laughs> you get it now. <laughs> yeah. Last of the Summer Swine, East Menders. Um, Louise, here's one for you. We've taken oh, a long running TV show, we've added a letter. Cassock-wearing men get the audience grooving as they perform a rundown of the latest chart hits and find out if they are this week's number one leader of the Catholic Church. A show that started in 1964. All right. So what's the show? I don't know what the, the show. chart rundown show, the famous one that started in 1964, a long, big, long-running TV show. <laughs> 
top of the pops. Yeah, you add a letter and suddenly it's about the leader of the Catholic Church. Top of the Popes. Top of the Popes. The right answer, Louise. Well played. It's nicely done. Top of the Pops becomes Top of the Popes. Chris, one for you. Long running TV show, we've added a letter. Ian Hislop and Paul Merton team up with celebrities to scathingly review the latest Bleats and Mars from famous relatives of sheep. I can't work out what, where to add the letter. Yeah, this is what I'm struggling with. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not add, I'm adding one, but I'm taking one. Of... I'm just going to say, have I got use for you? Have I got use for you? Yeah, that's roughly where I'd be going with that, yeah. but it's... Uh, oh. No, that's not adding a letter. Oh, I like the fact that they all... <laughs> I think that's what they all thought it was as well. Sean, have I goat news for you? That's what I was thinking. Have I goat news for you? Very well done, Sean. Wow, that's some pretty high-end um, House of gamers -ing. Um We go back down the line. This time we have added one letter to some classic films. Sean, here's your classic film. In this Cold War satire directed by Stanley Kubrick, Peter Sellers plays a nuclear scientist with a penchant for wearing unusual mittens. If you know the film, you'll get this one. I don't think I know the film. No. Nope. Um, time you're out? Uh, so no, I, I don't know. Getting, have I got news for you? you don't, that's it, your brain is just kind of... I'm done. Listen, I'm, do, I'm done <laughs> in this over. round. I'm done in this round. Uh, anyone else fancy it? If we time Sean out, I don't think anyone's coming for this. Shall I tell you? Yeah. Dr Strange Glove. Oh. So Dr Strange Glove becomes Dr Strange Glove. Well done if you said that at home. Uh, Kimberly, yes. one for you. A classic film, we've added a letter. This Billy Wilder comedy stars Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon as jazz musicians on the run from the mob who disguise themselves as a couple of noisy owls. It's from 1959. So what's the film? Well, I was thinking it was the Something Brothers, but now no. I'm... Yeah, I'm no. doubting myself. Yeah, I would doubt yourself there. Yeah, it's not going to come to me. No, nope, not going to come. Love Jack Lemmon, though. Anyone else fancy this? Louise. Some like it hoot. Some like it hoot. Oh, well played, Louise. Yeah. Some like it hot. Become some like it hoot. Good round for you so far, Louise. And it's your question now. Which classic film is this that we've added a letter to? In Sergio Leone's classic spaghetti western, two mysterious men and William Shakespeare search oh. for hidden gold. I'm not good on my spaghetti westerns. From 1966. Or my 90s. I wasn't. I wasn't even born then. Mm, but this film is still commercially available. I'm sure it is. <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have heard of this film. I, I think promise. I probably will have done, won't I? I don't know the film. No. No. Should we time you out. Yeah. But Teddy, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, of course. Oh, the, answer, yeah. the good, yeah, the bad, and the ugly. Final question in this round, Chris, which will be a huge relief to all four of you. Mm. <laughs> uh, what is the answer to this, please? In this tense legal drama starring Henry Fonda, a dozen jurors become increasingly irritable as they are forced to wait for lunch without being offered any snacks. Sean's got his finger on the buzzer. Not a clue, mate. No. Not a clue? No. Sean. 12 Hangry Men. 12 Hangry Men is the right answer. Okay. Well played, Sean. 12 Hangry Men. That is the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scoreboard, shall we? Kimberly and Chris yet to get off the mark. Sean, you got two. Louise Minchin, our early leader, with three points. Well played, Louise. Well done. Uh, let's play our next pairs game, shall we? And today it is... Can you complete me? Um, player in last place gets to choose their partner. I tell you what, Chris, you're in tied last at the moment. Yeah. Uh, why don't you choose a partner for this round? I'm going to, I'm going to stay loyal. Staying loyal, yeah, Louise. Yeah. I okay. love I mean. that. So. But I'm clinging on to first place this time, like you were last time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. You're, <laughs> you're, you're choosing the winner this time. Yeah, yeah. Chris and Louise, you are a pair. You complete. Kimberly and yeah. Sean, you're a pair. <laughs> uh, fingers on buzzers, everyone. I'm going to ask you some questions. Each of them has a two-word answer. If you buzz in, you just give me the first word of the answer, and your partner then has to give me the second word. So buzz in if you know the first word of this answer. Robert Lindsay and Zoe Wanamaker played Ben and Susan Harper in which BBC sitcom? Sean. My. My is correct. Kimberly for the point. Girls. My girls. Good guess, incorrect though. If you don't. Anyone on the other team fancy it? Yeah, Chris. Family. My family? Absolutely right, well done. <laughs> Points to Chris and Louise. That's the mark. Next question. Who is this? <laughs> 
Yes, Sean. Chris. It is good as Chris, Kimberly, I mean. <laughs> Listen, <Chris>. good luck. <laughs> Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he's just wearing a hat, he's hiding his ginger hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to go. Is it Chris go. Evans? It is not. Oh. Chris. Froome. Chris Froome? I did Absolutely press it. Right. Yeah, no. I was like, you pressed it. Chris Froome, point to <laughs> Louise and like Chris there. Uh, next question. What is the title of this song? Ooh. Chris. Easy. Easy is correct. <laughs> Louise? Is it Rider? Is it Easy Rider? It is not, no, I'm afraid. Sorry. Sean. Lover. Easy Lover? Sorry. Absolutely right. Well done. Easy Lover. <laughs> Next question. What's the first word of this answer, please? Which 2002 film stars Eminem as a struggling young rapper in Detroit? Yes, Chris. Eight. Correct, oh, Louise. Gosh. I want to say mile. Eight mile. Correct answer, Louise. Well played. Oh, Eight mile. Excellent. Well played. Oh. Absolute heartbreaker for Sean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Who knew that one? Well, that knew. just landed in your head, that one, didn't it? It just came yeah. straight into my head, and I'm like, is that the right, is the only one that's Never, in there? Yeah. Next question. What's the first word of this answer, please? The Northern Grenadine Islands form a country with which other island in the Caribbean Sea? Chris. Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, that is Sean. The? The? <laughs> it's incorrect, I'm afraid. It's like the Bahamas or something like that. The is often the first word in this round. I have to, I have to Over say. to you. <laughs> that is uh, a hospital pass. It was going to be even is. worse because it's actually going to be Saint. It's the first Saint word. Oh, Vincent. 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 Yes. There's so many saints there. So St. Vincent yes. and the Grenadines. Yes. Oh. Final question in this round Which semi hard cheese produced in the southwest of England is wrapped in nettle leaves? Uh, Chris. Saint. Saint. <laughs> Saint. <laughs> oh, I was so up for it, guessing something uh, off the back of that yeah. as well. Uh, uh, yes, Sean. The? Is it the? Mm. It's neither the or Saint. I think it might be Cornish Yarg. I was going to say Cornish something, but... Let's take a look. It might not be. Cornish Yarg. Cornish Yarg. Actually, yeah. Cornish Yarg is named after yeah, the people right. who like created that. it, who were the Grey family, and they just changed their... They put their surname the other way around. That is the end of that round, the end of our pairs game. Let's take a look at our scores. Everybody off the mark now. Kimberly, you have one. Eight. Sean and Chris, you got three. Louise, three point lead with six. Well played. Well, nicely done. Thank you, partner. Appreciate round it. Round three on Thursday's House of Games is. <laughs> Win when they're singing. Now, fingers on buzzers, everyone. Uh, and at home, get your stopwatches out. You know how we play this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play you the first couple of bars of a famous song. We will then fade out the music. You have to keep playing along with that song in your head. And as soon as you think the first word is sung in that song, press your buzzer, OK? And whoever presses the buzzer closest to that first word wins themselves a point, OK? And at home, you know how to play along with this as well. So everyone at home, first song just coming up, start your stopwatches now. <laughs> Still, have you gone? No. No. There you go, Sean. I've gone Give a, bit a couple late. of seconds. You three went almost exactly the same time. <laughs> yeah. Little copycats I went third, there. I think. Yeah. Golden Brown by the Stranglers, of course. Let's take a look at your timings. Wow. Three of you very, very close there, Kimberly, <laughs> Louise, and Chris. Uh, and Sean held on. Should we have a little listen? See who's won the points. Mm -hmm. Oh, Randy goes again. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 my goodness. Well done if you held it. Imagine having the guts to hold on at home as well. Still yeah. going up to 20 seconds. Wow. Very well played. Sean, point to you. Let's do another one, shall we? Everyone at home, start your stopwatches now.
and very <laughs> close together. Keep on moving and very close for all within the second and a half, pretty much. Uh, Louise, you went first. Kimberly, last. What are you on at home on this one? Shall we take a little listen, see who scored themselves a point? Up a point. Oh, please. Miami, well done, Chris. 14 <laughs> seconds dead on. Uh, final question in this round. Everybody at home, start your stopwatches now. You two very close, you two very close as well. I must confess, I don't know what that was. Must have um, been love. Yeah, oh, yeah, must have been love, love, of course, What's by Roxette. Yeah. Pretty woman, I think. Must have been love. Um, very close, Louise and Chris. Very close, Kimberly and Sean as well. <laughs> Look at that. Take it off. Um, what have you got at home? What's the time in your stopwatch? Let's have a little listen, see who scored the final point of the round. Tenths of a second, very nicely played. Uh, well done at home. If you got close to 17.86 as well, it's the end of that round. Let's take a little look at what it's done to our scores. Kimberly, you have two. Chris and Sean, four points each. Louise still out in the lead there with six points. Well played, Come Louise. On, two rounds to hold on to that lead. Round four today is. And the answer isn't. This is a round where you can score points or you can give points to your opponents. What I'll do, I'll ask you each a question. There'll be four possible answers. One is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. The other three were written by your opponents to try and fool you, OK? If you get the correct answer, you score a point. If you give an incorrect answer, your opponent who wrote that answer will score the point. Sean, your question is this. What did RuPaul's mother name him after? OK, one of these answers is correct. The other three written by your opponents. Was he named after a New Orleans jazz trumpeter, RuPaul Davis? Rubies and pearls? The Ru used as a base for gumbo? Or Rupert the bear? Those are brilliant wrong answers, by the way, all three of you. Wow, good luck. So one of those is correct. Well, well the, the one that seems like I could, you know, pick up a history book and was reading about RuPaul, it, the, the New Orleans jazz trumpeter mm. sounds good, but then it's the sort of thing that Chris would make up, I can imagine. Mm. Um, rubies and pearls, not sure about that. Um, the Rue used as a base for gumbo? No. Rupert. I'm going to go for New Orleans jazz trumpeter. You're going to go for... <laughs> I, I think, you I didn't think even... Is... The Rupert the Bay, you weren't even... No. Like, <laughs> nowhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think at home on this one? The good fake answers, aren't they? Um, Let's take a look, shall we? Is the jazz trumpeter the correct answer? It's not. What is the correct answer? The Rue uses the bass wow. for gumbo. I had you wow. so down as writing that, Kimberly. Yeah, from Louisiana. Yeah, totally. So who wrote New Orleans jazz trumpeter? It was, it was Chris. Chris. <laughs> it's so you didn't right. bother answering who got it. Do I get a point for guessing that, Chris? Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> right. Let's take a look at the other two. Rubies and pearls, that's what I would have gone for. Kimberly, uh, and Rupert the Bear was Louise. I might not have gone for Rupert the Bear. Good, wrong answers, though. Everyone well played, Chris. Point to you. Kimberly, a question for you now. OK. What confusingly named sporting event featured at the Olympics from 1984 until 1992? OK, one of these is correct. The other three were written by your opponents. Is it synchronised equestrianism? Is it solo synchronised swimming? Is it crouching? Or is it hand football? One of those is correct. The other three were made up by your opponents. Oh, dear. I mean, I've never heard of a hand football. Mm. Handball I've heard of, but not hand football. Solo synchronised swimming. I mean, <laughs> synchronised equestrianism, that'd be like... Be a good score in Scrabble. But yeah. Mm. 
Solo synchronized swimming. You're going to go solo synchronized swimming? Yeah. What do you think at home? Agree, disagree. So has Kimberly just won a point or has she disagree. given disagree a point away? Is that the right answer? It is the right no answer, way! Kimberly. Oh, well played. Shot in the dark. Well played. Since it's been renamed artistic swimming, they call it now. Synchronized equestrianism was Louise crouching, <laughs> was Chris and Sean hand football. A nice wrong answers. Louise, a question for you. Yes. Crested auklets attract mates by emitting a compound that is said to smell like what? Mm. Correct answer here, three incorrect answers. Honey, fish, vinegar, or tangerines? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, does anybody here know what a crested auklet is? I'm thinking no. it's some kind of... That's a bird, I said, of some sort, yeah. OK. It feels like you are very much on your own. I here, think tangerines Louise. is just like such a Chris thing to say. It's just like so. <laughs> Honestly, oh, yeah. before the show, he's like mandarin, satsumas, nectarine. <laughs> he just he can't stop himself naming oranges. <laughs> okay, so um, I mean, fish would make sense, wouldn't it? Because you know, it's a bird and everything. Oh yeah. Uh, vinegar, I think that's quite specialist for a bird. Honey, you know, they would probably eat honey, so that would also make sense to me. I'm going to go with fish. Fish. Right. What do you think at home? You've gone with fish as well. Let's find out. Louise, have you just scored a point? Mm. You have not just scored a point. The correct answer? Tangerines. No way. I would have avoided it. Yeah, I would have avoided it. I would have thought Chris had gone for that. But you've given away a point. Who have you given away a point to? Who said fish? Thank Kimberly, you. well Thank played, you. Kimberly. I've given it Thank to a nice yeah. person. I mean... <laughs> she, kept a poker, she kept a poker face there, didn't she? Yeah, choose it, please. Uh, honey well played. was Chris and vinegar was Sean. Chris, it is now your turn. Last question of the round. In January 2021, it was reported that Staffordshire police caught a pair of burglars after one of them did what? Took a selfie outside the front door. Pocket dialed 999 during the burglary. Made a TikTok of the crime. These are all good. And left their phone at the crime scene. What do we think, Chris? One of those is the correct answer. I'm torn with pocket dial and left phone. TikTok is good, but very stupid. Burglars, huh. pocket dial 999. I think they just put the phone down before they realised. I'm going to go left the phone at the scene of, of the crime. So left their phone at the crime scene? It's incorrect. Let's take a look. What was the correct answer? <gasps> oh! Whoa! That was my... Right. That, that is bad, isn't it? I would have gone for TikTok. I would have gone yeah. for TikTok. It feels like the kind of thing people do. Who said take a selfie? Uh, that was Louise, made a TikTok. Kimberly. So the point goes to... Sean Fletcher, hey. well done, Sean. Nice Left the phone at the crime scene. <laughs> Nicely done. That's a nice way to pick up a point. Just before our final round, let's take a look at our last scoreboard on Thursday. Chris has won three in a row. Is he going to win four in a row? He's good at answer smash. That we know. Oh, wow. It, I mean, it's oh, been close. It's not been closer than this all week. My goodness. Two points between the lot of you. Kimberly, four. Sean and Chris, five. Louise, six. Anyone could win. Is Chris going to win four in a row? Is someone going to dethrone him? Let's find out, shall we? As we play... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Here we go. Your first category is... Sports Personality of the Year winners. Those would be the pitchers. Sports broadcasters. I mean, that's a, that was a, used to be your specialism, right? No pressure. <laughs> uh, Made me really nervous. I know. It's, it's OK. Sorry. Uh, here we go. Here is your first clue and your first picture. In a 1984 fantasy horror film, what does a mogwai turn into if it's fed after midnight? Chris. Goblin Ford Christie. Goblin Ford Christie? Yes, Kimberly. Gremlin Ford Christie? Oh, Gremlin Ford Christie is the right answer. Yeah. Well done, Kimberly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Chris, Thank you. Unlucky. <laughs> unlucky, Point to Kimberly. Well done. Next question. What is the usual term for a skin blemish that is present when a baby is born? Yes, Chris. Birthmark Cavendish. Birthmark Cavendish. Oh, yeah. Well done. Oh, Cycling's done you some favours on the show, <laughs> hasn't it? Chris Freeman now Mark Cavendish. 
It's very, 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 very close at the top of this leaderboard now. Next category. Insects, those will be the pictures. Who succeeded David Cameron as UK Prime Minister in July 2016? Yes, Louise. Theresa Mayfly. Theresa Mayfly. Correct, Louise. Well played. Theresa May and Mayfly. Next question, let's picture. Which song was a UK number one hit for Ian Jury and the Blockheads in January 1979? Sean. Hit me with your stick insect. It is incorrect, Sean, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. Chris. Hit me with your rhythm stick insect. Hit me with your oh, rhythm no. stick insect is the right answer. Oh, no. oh. Unlucky, Sean, you lose a point oh. there. Well done for buzzing in, though. Oh. Uh, next clue, next picture. Which 1988 John Waters film was adapted into a 2007 musical starring John Travolta in drag? I tell you, hairspraying mantis. Oh. Hairspray and praying um, mantis. Next category. <laughs> Whoa, Sean. Oh, oh well, my god. I didn't goodness. want to take any risks. There was a two but I thought swing. I had that one. Yeah, you had to take it. Listen, you had to. You well, I didn't have to. I didn't. You didn't. It turns out you didn't. And uh, yeah, it's a two point swing. Chris Washington's won three in a row. The stand up's prerogative. Has he won four in a row? I can't Ooh. count. Let's find out, shall we? The winner of Thursday's House of Games. Louise Minchin oh! by one point. <laughs> by one Can point. Because I, I, like, run around and jump. <laughs> and look at that for close, though, everybody. Thank you, partner, by the way. Very, very close. Well played, everyone. You get a prize. You're a champion. I, you uh, don't understand how exciting that is. I can see it. I see it. <laughs> uh, what prize would you like to take, Louise? I know what I don't want to take. You're not going to take... The alarm clock. Oh, my, of course. So many years of wake up, and now you never have to wake up again. <laughs> Ever. Is that a fondue set? It is a fondue set. I would love, Beautiful. love, love, love fondue Louise set. Minchin takes home a house against fondue sets. Congratulations, Louise. Thank you. Uh, and we have one day to go, and that is double points Friday. Eight points for a win tomorrow, six for a second and so on. Let's take a little look at our leaderboard going into it. Chris still very much in pole position. Been a brilliant week from him. But it is closing up. Kimberly, you have seven. Sean, Louise, ten. Chris, it's yours to lose. That's a very good score, 15. Um, but it could be lost. Very well played, everybody. Congratulations, Louise, on your win. Shall we do the final? Same time, same place tomorrow? Yep, yes. let's go. To ever so much. We'll see you as well for the final on House of Games. I literally yeah. love that. And the colour coded. Yeah, it's got colour coded. It's proper quality.